Hey guys, back again here with another one of my projects. This time it's a maze. With this, I've created a system with doors to create a path that can be changed by pressing a pad. The person comes into the start. These doors are locked. I have to use these pads to open. And this one stays unpowered until the puzzle is completed. So they come in and go through the maze. Different paths. These are all set up with door controllers and there's wiring underneath here to two different circuits. One tells it to stay open, one tells it to stay closed depending on the actual circuit itself. And so you get to the end and you press this pad. Now the doors close and rearrange themselves in the correct way. Now this is a new map. And then you have to find the next spot. Press the pad. The circuit changes again. Now that you're back at the start, this pad will work, and I'll let you out. And this one here actually resets the course, resets these triggers, so this can be, hap uh, can be opened again because uh, when you're in there, this pad here uh, breaks, and the next one in there too as well, so you can't even have another person come and join you. And I'll show you a top view. show you the circuits underneath here. So basically there's two circuits that run. There's this outer one and an inner one here. And that's all based on this memory controller. I was going to have two, but having these in here, uh, the lag is great because it does this animation where they're broken. It is too much. So you can see in this one, this one's powered off the first circuit right now. And what that would do is have the door open. If the door needs to be closed, it's not powered. And that's how the hallways are created. So depending on how these are hooked up, that depends on if the doors are open or closed for that maze. Eventually, I'm going to actually change this instead of having a wire here. This has just made it simple because now that two power can actually get brought and put into the door controller and open the door. But if I had put like a switch in between, I would have had to gone and change every single one of these and configure these. And you can see that would have been quite the process to do four times over in each of these. It's a 15 by 15 square. And you can see each of these have their own controller or, or switch, I should say. And the other ones. Then in here, this is a little bit special. The way I have this is set up is that it breaks itself after it's been pressed the, one, the first time. And then this door will close after 30 seconds and doesn't let you back in. 
So yeah, that's the uh, mace. And I built it in a way that uh, it can be configured so if somebody gets used to one of the maps, the, the puzzles, this can all be just changed to make it new. Anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Take care.